Hi Blathers here from B3 Cricket and with the doctor Streaky Bacon. Hello. Um, we want to tell you about a world exclusive. Um, you must know that in cricketing circles there's been a lot of talk about the size of bats, the unfair balance between batsman and bowler or bat and ball um, and rumours that the MCC and, and the, law, the laws of the game are going to change um, to restrict or govern the size of bats to make it a little bit more bowler and fielder friendly. Um, Tell us about the regulations that they're proposing. We think they're going to restrict the, the edge size and the spine size to 35mm on the edge and 65mm on the spine. So that's going to be the maximum dimension of your cricket bat if the MCC get this law through. OK, and um, in terms of what we think about that, whether it's right or wrong, uh, probably not the time to have that debate. A short video wouldn't really cover it. Yeah, I, th I think. We, we talk about the implications of this, whether it's right or wrong is a different topic in telling. Okay, and what we want to demonstrate today is that, that whichever way it goes, uh, B3 Cricket have the technology um, and, and that with your CAD and, and algorithms we've got what we think is a solution to the problem. Yeah, so obviously we, we found out that the, the, the regulation, what the MCC are proposing to, to get through and then obviously that set me thinking of you know what what a cricket bat is going to look like in the future, and how that will impact you know the club cricketer, the, the professional cricketer. So yeah, it set me thinking, and we think we've come up with a, a design that obviously meets the new regulations, and also yeah, we'll talk about it in a little bit, but we think it's a, a pretty a pretty good good shape for the club cricketer. Okay, um, before we look at the the, the new design. Um, Let's have a look at a normal bat, just an average sort of bat that we're manufacturing today. So it's it's, it's probably important that we compare apples with apples. So good. Do you like that? Yeah. Blue, uh, Peter. Blue Peter. Did want to, so this is a two pound ten bat, um, a really decent shape actually. It's quite a popular shape that. It's quite a popular one shape. that um, a, a lot of the test players are using now, more of a fuller profile. Um, a, a, yes. a real meaty bat. Slight duck bill, really meaty bat, um, picks up well. Um, but you can see, so this is the dimension that yep. the MCC is proposing. And you can see there that it won't go, well, what are we, three inches up from the toe? Yep. And then you, then you get stuck. So I'm led to believe that the, they propose that umpires have a template, and if your bat don't go through, you can't use it, some. Okay, fair enough. So, um, is it now time to reveal um, the, the new design? Yeah, so if we just talk about this to start off with. So yeah. um, obviously the, the modern bat is um, slimmer here and slimmer up here and the weight is more or less in the, in the centre or in the middle of what we call, so where you, where you hit the ball. Okay. So we've seen that we need to reduce this Yeah. because it won't go through. So you've got to put that wood somewhere. So. Can I have a drum roll? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Crack on. Crack on. So, we've come up with this, this design. Here it is. And I have to say, when, when you first showed me the design and, and made the prototype, um, I, I was pretty um, pretty shocked. Because it, it's an old school bat. It's, it's almost like the old SP um, type bat. Um, and I was most worried about the pickup. I thought, well, it, it looks like it will pick up like a dog. Yeah. Um, but we'll show you a little video in a bit from a, a pro who reviewed this last week. Um, the pickup's fantastic. Yeah, you've just done the spoiler alert there, haven't you? I've done what? A spoiler alert. It picks up better than it looks. <laughs> so the reason why it picks up better than it looks is because you've got a lot of wood up near the splice of the handle. Okay. So the centre of gravity is actually for nearer your hand, so it picks up. Um, better. So here's the, the litmus test. So you can see that there. So this is the what the MCC propose, and you can see that it's the same um, depth right up near the splice, all the way down to very much near the toe. Okay, and to keep as much wood sort of in the bat as possible, you design a new toe shape. Yes. Well, it's more of the fact that. Um, you want to get about two pound ten, so the volume of these two bats is pretty much the same. So you you set off with a, a set volume, and you've got to move, or you've got to add or take away volume 
to, to make the, the overall volume the same. So we literally started off with the middle and we just extended it both ways to the shoulder and to the toe until we met that same volume. Okay. So that's the reason why you've got this quite pronounced duck bill. In fact, it's not a duck bill. We're going to call it something else, but we'll re reveal that in a middle in a minute. Um, yeah. So that's. The well, time. it was it was Gavin the workshop who noticed it looked like a new aircraft, wasn't it? Yeah. And, Should we uh, do yeah, the reveal? On, turn it round. <laughs> <on. laughs> so uh, Gav's original name was the Beluga. So it's named after a whale. But the, the new Airbus is it's got a similar shaped nose to the front. Okay, and on screen now we should have a picture of the Airbus just to show where the um, thinking came from. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great bat, and um, probably now is a good time to show you. We had um, Anuj Dahl, um, a young professional at Nottinghamshire County Cricket Club, uh, popped in last week to have some bat repairs done and, and talk about a few things, and uh, we showed it him. Um, here's what he had to say um, about the world. Um, premier review of the Beluga by a professional cricketer. Anuj Dahl, um, Knott's player. Um, we've just introduced um, a new bat that um, meets the new or rumoured um, MCC regulations on height, size of um, the, the blade and the dimensions of the spine and the edge. Um, we've, we're going to launch it next week. Um, you've just popped in to talk to us about a few of your own personal bats. Yeah. Um, but, you know, what, what's your initial impression? Um, I don't really have words for it. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Let's have a look at the bat. Let's have a look at the bat. So we've called Which it the Belugia. You, you now know why. You've seen the Airbus. Um, but again, to meet the regs, the length of that middle is, is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, as a club cricketer, you think, with a regulation bat, you think, oh God, I've only got a small place to hit the ball well from. Yeah. And you look at that, and your middle is all the way there. So, you, you, so you, you've had a ball on it, it yeah, pings. It does, yeah. Um, when, when I looked at the design that David did, um, I thought, well, it's going to pick up like a, 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 a railway sleeper. No. But what, just... This, what? <laughs> this literally picks up better than some of my current bats. I mean, look at the shape. <laughs> look at the shape of Hello. it. And oh god, this, I just can't get around it. This is unbelievable. Anyway, um, but yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're world exclusive. You're the first professional <laughs> yeah. cricketer to review it, and yeah. um, it's got mileage, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. This is going to sell. This and, definitely and especially if the MCC do bring these regs in, yeah. you know, we're we're equi equipped with our um, technology and David's design skills to get the most out of what you're allowed to have. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I've got a current bat that, you know, with those regulations wouldn't even pass, so I don't see what's wrong. Go for this bat. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Um, okay, so as you can see, um, Anuj Dahl um, thinks this is great. And that, that's a similar story, really. Everybody we've shown this to um, has gone, wow, that must pick up really, you know, awfully. Um, then they've tried it, and, and all they're really bothered about a, a batsman at the end of the day is, is a bat that is the right weight for them, picks up the way they like it, but then more than anything, pings. And this pings, you know, from there right down to within about a, an inch and a half of the toe. Yeah, I think once people get over the unusual shape, um, picks up fantastically, and as you say, the middle's really forgiven, so I think, I think it'll go really well. Good. Story of your life, really. Oh, ugly and goes well.